I'm uh, Richard Finn. I'm an associate professor of medicine at the Geffen School of Medicine at UCLA. At this ASCO meeting, we presented the study design for Palbocyclob's registrational strategy. Uh, this will be a randomized phase three study in advanced ER positive postmenopausal breast cancer of palbocyclob in combination with letrozole versus letrozole alone. Palbocyclob represents a new class of molecules. It's a small molecule inhibitor of the serine 3 ne kinases, cyclin-dependent kinases 4 and 6. CDK4-6 plays a critical role in regulating cell cycle progression. As we know, dysregulation of the cell cycle is a hallmark of cancer. And for many years, we've been trying to identify a role for cell cycle inhibitors, CDK inhibitors, uh, in cancer medicine. At the laboratory in UCLA, uh, in collaboration with Pfizer many years ago, identified a potential role for palbocyclob in ER-positive breast cancer subtype, as well as in the HER2-amplified subtype. We further defined scientifically that there appears to be a unique synergy between anti-estrogen therapy and palbocyclob in laboratory models. This led to a clinical trial, a randomized phase two trial of letrozole versus letrozole plus palbocyclob in advanced ER positive postmenopausal breast cancer. This preliminary result uh, demonstrated an improvement in progression-free survival uh, from seven and a half months with letrozole alone to over 26 months with the addition of palbocyclob. This was really a dramatic improvement uh, in progression-free survival for these patients. Uh, this was an interim analysis of the study, but needless to say, generated a lot of, of excitement around palbocyclob and CDK4-6 inhibition. Importantly, this improvement in efficacy was not accompanied by serious, clinically serious adverse events, uh, and the, the molecule seems to be very well tolerated. We have launched the phase three study. Again, this is a randomized study in a two-to-one fashion of 450 women globally to palbocyclob and letrozole versus letrozole alone. The hope is that this study will validate the observations seen in the phase two study that there is a significant improvement on PFS with the addition of palbocyclob. The primary endpoint for the study will be PFS. Uh, secondary endpoints will include overall survival, safety, uh, response rate, and quality of life. And we hope to approve this study very quickly. The other thing that has generated a lot of enthusiasm about the phase three study is the recent designation of palbocyclob as a breakthrough therapy by the FDA. Uh, this uh, is a mechanism that we hope will accelerate uh, getting palbocyclob to women who need it as soon as possible. Ultimately, we want to see the results of the phase three as soon as possible as well to reassure us that the significant improvement in PFS that we saw in the phase two will exist in a larger population.